Ooh. Ooh, what is up everybody? Man, I'm excited about this trip that we are about to take. I didn't get a chance to really publish it or, or talk about it a lot, but if you haven't figured it out by now from following us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, we sold our Cherokee 180, the infamous 40 November. I am taking what is probably my last flight in old faithful 40 November. So the reason we sold 40 November is twofold. Number one, it didn't really fit a mission for us. Uh, there's two things I need. One is I need a plane with more seats. Um, to fit our family, we need six seats. But right now with the airplane market as high as it is, a six seater plane is just not really in our budget for what we're trying to do um, at our house. Secondly, the type of flying I have been so intrigued by and really wanted to get into since I first started my flight lessons is the old school stick and rudder, low and slow kind of flying. And that is what we're accomplishing today. So I'm waiting on Daniel at his house now. We are loading up. We're going to Waynesboro, Virginia, and we're gonna bring you along for the ride to pick up the new airplane. Stay in the left three lanes. Oh, no, no, no. So we, we just made it to uh, <laughs> Waynesboro, Virginia. Um, we're going we're gonna to catch us some rest here at the it's, Hotel uh, Hampton. Yeah, Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. Yeah, it's 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock in the morning. We're going to crash for a little bit, get us a shower and a free breakfast, she says, and then try to go see the new plane in the morning. We're ready. That's right. That's right. pick up an airplane and you gotta stop by Home Depot, you know you're on an adventure. Yeah. We're gonna try to get some uh, bolts for our D-rings. Daniel's gonna let me fasten it down to his trailer. Mm -hmm. and that way we'll be uh, strap her down and be able to set sail and come home. So yeah. we gotta get this. In three kilometers of the line, the Ryan Eagles is airborne. Oh, okay. Just made it. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. He's he is letting up the uh, the hangar door now. How about Fountain Aviation slash camera guy? Fountain Aviation uh, <laughs> Productions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes. Oh yeah. Well, give us a give us a status update so far here. Well, I, I don't want to let him know how excited I am, but you know, because right now technically we're just checking it out. But I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I feel like this is the one. It's got everything that, that I wanted on the checklist, it's got it, so I'm excited. I think this is it, so. Jesus. So basically from here, Daniel looked over the plane real good. We finalized the purchase, and then Daniel and I headed to Lowe's to get the supplies we needed to get it home. All right, Daniel. It's always an adventure. Always an adventure. Here we are in Lowe's. We made a Home Depot run this morning. And here we are in Lowe's, trying to make another round. We're building a trailer to haul halfway across the country. Yeah, We're yeah. Building a trailer. 
Yeah. Yeah. We're taking our flatbed and we'll modify it to get an airplane three states away. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. It's, it's, it's going to work out. What could go wrong? Perfect. What, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> We're going to regret saying that. <laughs> Daniel, have you ever been doing this on an airplane before? I can't say that I've ever done this on an airplane before. I've, I've done some, uh, some crazy things, but this this might this might take the cake. Hauling an airplane across three states <laughs> on a trailer built for a car. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Are you? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Starting to get the butterflies in my stomach. So we we're about to haul this plane. <laughs> Three it was, states. <laughs> it was eight hours driving, like driving, good driving to get here. So I'm gonna say it's gonna take us 10 to get back easily. Yeah. It looks good though. Yeah. You the man. <laughs> So we, we got down the road a little bit to um, check all of our straps, make sure everything's good to go, do a walk around. What you think? All right, tell us what we did. We had to make a pit stop. Let's go up here and look at this part of it. So, kind of how we did our setup, try to make some sense out of it is, tried to do some cross members to keep it tightened down some. So, Daniel's nice enough actually let me reinstall some D-rings here onto the trailer to fasten it down. One on this side, fasten this side gear, vice versa run them down that senses the gear down good got it strapped in the front obviously to keep it from pulling back and we've got a strap on the back that's for pulling against each other to hold it and cinch it down this is the cool setup right here the wheels were wider than uh, what we anticipated so we had to do some home making so we put two by fours down to level to the trailer rolled it up actually picked it up with ramps, put them over the uh, wheel well. We took the two by eight, set it here for the wheels to basically rest on, and then these are high speed, low drag, high quality wheel chocks. So we put them on there at an angle, hoping that if we, for some reason, hit a bad bump and they, the landing gear squatted, then they wouldn't be able to push out off of the boards and lose our plane because we have both decided that if for some reason the plane falls off we're just going to keep going we are not even stopping to pick up the pieces somebody gets a free fuselage that's tore up we're going to keep riding obviously the wings folded in we put up some uh, rubber and bubble wrap and all kind of stuff to keep anything from rubbing against each other in the back we took the two center blocks stacked it up to give us the height we needed then we put a rubber mat, I won't tell you where I got it from, to be a shock absorber. Put a two by eight on top of that as kind of a, just a hard base. A moving blanket to again be a little bit more of a shock, shock absorber. And then fasten it down so again, the orange strap keeps the blocks from shifting. The black is actually pulling against the uh, tail wheel. That's how we'll call it. It's giving some back pressure. The, the strap in the front giving some forward pressure. So it's, uh, we have been a little over 100 miles so far. About 150. Yeah, about 150 miles. And so far, other than readjusting the strap, it's good to go. Um, the blue tape is just just for speed. precautionary, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's our speed mod. That's a Patton 1AV8 pending. 
we just thought it might help from the wind get catching anything and you know we'll just try to be proactive in catching anything that might pop up so we're gonna get a cup of coffee stretch our legs and then we're gonna finish striking up the door Hope y'all are careful tonight. Oh, we are? We're coming through. Is the wings, um, I, I mean, y'all aren't riding with the wings out, right? Yeah, yeah, no, we left the wings out. That way, if we hit a bump, the, the wings actually will lift the trailer so it doesn't beat the planter real bad. Yeah, the trailer fun. just kind of yeah. flies a couple feet high and then, <laughs> yeah. It's tricky trying to get it to come down soft, but you can do it. But I, I tell you what, these, uh, these, back, these, back, these backwood streets we're on with these road signs, they've proved to be difficult. We finally made it to almost, we're just north of Columbia, right? Mm -hmm. About north of Columbia. Yeah, about 15 miles. And we are now 205 miles away from home. It says we'll be there in three hours and 20 minutes. We stopped, I had to fuel up for what we hope is the last time on this trip. That was $93 to fill up, so I'm hoping so too. <laughs> Checked our straps. Everything's, Daniel's rig is, I'm impressed. If you need any airplanes moved, call Fountain Aviation. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. I probably, I probably broke him. <laughs> We're going to Sweet Onion Country. finally made it. it's about 2 15 in the morning we uh this is my shop here at the house we've just got the avid parked just far enough under it to keep the dew from falling on it if we went to the airport tonight in east minute would have added an extra hour to the trip and we're already dog tired so we're going to call it a night and tomorrow we'll go take it to the airport put the wings back where they need to be and get it secured in the hangar. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got the Avid in the hangar. Hopefully this weekend we'll start getting some flight lessons in and we are gonna be off to the races. Hope you enjoyed this video of coming along with the new aircraft purchase. Can't wait for the adventures that we're gonna have in it. It'll be a good time, but uh, you know the deal. Like this video if you do. Make sure you subscribe if you want to stick around for our future adventures. And we'll see you on the next one.